Ang kutsok. a different topic and the topic is um, the Cham population in uh, Pim Chikan uh, commune and the Ankoban commune. So the first question is when the Khmer Rouge took control of your area, your commune, were there Cham living in Pim Chikang and Ankoban commune? Answer. Yes, there were Cham people there in Pim Chikang commune. In that commune, I know there's a number of villages, but can you give a general estimate of how many Cham families lived in the commune when the Khmer Rouge came to your area? Just an estimate. And so I do not know how many of them living in that commune. Okay. Let's say maybe in your in your village, Sambu uh, Mia uh, village A. In the village that you lived, in your statement you said that there were Cham that were brought into uh, your village to live, village. is that correct? During the Khmer Rouge period. Answer, yes, that is correct. During the Khmer Rouge period, Cham families were brought into the village. And where did those Cham families come from? Answer, I do not know where they were from. And why were they brought to your village? Answer. I do not know why they were brought to my village. Were other people brought to your village um, after uh, the Khmer Rouge took control of Cambodia, Phnom Penh in 1975? Were other people brought there as well as the Cham? Answer. There were people from Phnom Penh who were also brought in to that village. And about how many Cham people were brought into the village? How many families, how many individuals? If you can give us an idea in your village, how many came to it? Answer, I do not know, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, about the number of families who had been brought in. 
And Mr Witness, thank you for the answer. We certainly don't want you to guess any answers. Only tell us what you know. Thank you. Now, when those cham were brought into your village, during the democratic Kampuchea period, what happened to them? Answer. During the democratic Kampuchea, Cham people did not create any activities. They were living normally as uh, Khmer people were. Did the Cham people in your village stay there or were they taken away? Witness, could you repeat your question once again? I could not get it. Did the Cham people that were brought to your village during the democratic Kampuchea period, did they stay there throughout and were they there still in 1979, 1980? Or were they, did they leave or were they taken away during that period? Answer. During that period, Pendant cette période, Cham people who had been living in the village, les Cham qui habitaient dans le village, regarding them, I do not know. I was living in Cortoj. I would return Moi, through my village Cortoj, once in every three months or two months. Village, fois, once in a while, I would return mois. home. Temps, I do not know where moi. they were taken to. So are you saying that they were Question taken vous away vous during the democratic Kampuchea period? I understand you're saying you don't know where they were taken to, but are you saying that they were taken away from your village during that period? Answer. I do not know about that. Je sais rien. I uh, was uh, living and doing in working in the rice field in Cortoj. I would return home Cortoy. once in every two or three months. I do not know where they were evacuated, where they were sent to. In 1979, when the Khmer Rouge were defeated, those Cham were no longer in your village. Is that what you're saying? Ma. Answer. Yes, that is true. It is my statement. If I can just um, refresh your memory with um, what you told the investigators a few years ago um, on, in relation to this topic, the Cham in your village, and I refer to E3-5257, English 0025, 1019, Khmer, 0024-3106 and French 0034-2671. You were asked this question uh, by the investigator and this is what he's recorded you as saying. So, did they arrest the Cham people and the group 
they had evacuated from Phnom Penh. And you said they arrested that group on site. The old people like me were not arrested and the new people were the same. Only the Cham people were arrested. Does that refresh your memory as to what you told uh, the investigator a few years ago? Answer. I never said about the arrest of Cham people. I do not know about that. I never stayed and lived in my village. I was assigned to work in the field and fluff the field, and I have no idea about the arrest of Cham people. Um, you, you testified earlier that um, you lived in um, the Angkor Ban commune until 1972, and then you moved to Sambosmir Village A, and you'd been living in that village from 1972 till now. And then you also said that you moved to PM Chikang for a while. In your statement, you say for about one year. And you also said that when you were in PM Chikang, you would eat at the dining hall in Sambos near Village A. So your evidence is that you've, you've testified that you were living in Sambosmia's village. So, is that correct? That's where you were living for most of the time during the democratic Kampuchea period. That was your evidence. Answer. During the evacuation time, I may have confused. After the end of the regime in 1979, I was told that our Pol Pot would come back to control the country. For this reason, I, together with my family, went to live in PM Chikong district. Je suis allé vivre dans le district During the interview, perhaps, I, I had just uh, got recovered uh, from my illness. I did not stay in PM Chikong. Je ne suis pas resté à PM Chikong. I, uh, I, was, I was assigned to leave and evacuated from uh, the pagoda. I was staying around uh, seven kilometers away from the pagoda. Okay, I, I won't um, discuss with you about that because the uh, information you've given is in your statement. But what I would like to talk about is um, the arrest of Cham in other parts of um, Pim Chikan commune, not the arrest of the Cham in the village we just talked about, but the arrest of Chams in other areas. Did you see Cham people being arrested when you were out working? During that period? Answer. I never witnessed it because, as I said, I was working and living on another side of the river. I did not know about the arrest and I did not see it. In, in your statement, you talk about uh, the job of peddling water. 
vous parlez uh, well, I think one of your job was to pedal water. Vous parlez de pédaler la Nordia. Can you tell, tell the court what pedaling water, what, what that activity is, please? Nous expliquer en quoi consiste cette activité. Answer. Regarding the water wheel, I had to pedal the water wheel in order to bring the water into the rice field. When you were doing that, did some Cham people help you do that or do that at the same time that you were doing it? Answer. No Cham people were working in that field. Thank you. Perhaps if I can put um, a statement that you made to uh, the investigators a few years ago and the one that you read uh, before you came into court about what you said about this topic, and I'd like you to comment on that, please. Uh, Your Honours, it's uh, the same statement, E3-5257, at English 0025-1019 to 20, at Khmer 0024-3106, and French 0034-2671. And this is what you told the investigator that you said was basically true uh, this morning. Sometimes when the cham went to pedal water, security followed them and arrested them there. Question, what year did they arrest the cham? It was probably in 1976 because the security office inside that pagoda was created in 1976. In 1975 there were still solidarity, solidarity teams and then you were questioned, do you know why they arrested the cham and you said, I don't know. You said, no one dared to ask about the arrest. And the question was put, did the arrest of the cham happen just one time or many consecutive times? And you answered, they arrested the cham successively. Sometimes they followed and arrested the cham at the ploughing sites. How did you know, this is a question, how did you know the Khmer Rouge, how, sorry, repeat, how did the Khmer Rouge know they were cham? And you said they had them speak first. For instance, they had me raise my hand and speak, so they were able to know who was Cham and who was not. So, my question is, that's what you've told the investigator. Is that true? Answer. I don't think it is completely correct. While I was uh, ploughing the fields, the Cham people were arrested. At that time, they, uh, they thought I was a Cham. Person. And they pointed uh, the right, uh, the weapons uh, to, at, at, uh, to my necks. And at that time, they 
realized that I was Khmer and they left. They went away. It was not during the time that I was uh, working in the field. It was at a work site. So you did see the arrest of Chan. Is that correct? Answer, yes. I uh, saw a few jam, two or three, uh, were arrested at the time. In your statement, you say that they arrested the cham successively. Did they arrest a lot of cham over a period of time that you saw? Answer. I saw two or three jam people were arrested at that time. I uh, was scary at the time and I did not dare to look at the, the people who came to arrest jam. And what did they do with the charm that they arrested? Answer. These charm people were taken to place the field. Once those charm were arrested, Question. did you Question. see them again? I saw whom? Sorry, Mr. Co prosecutor. Once those charm that were arrested in the fields, did you ever see them again? Answer yes. I saw them back. And have you seen them? Are they alive today? Do you know? Answer. I do not know because uh, they had been arrested. Thank you. Uh, earlier you were asked a question about whether or not you saw uh, people being arrested uh, from a boat and you said that you hadn't seen anyone arrested or any prisoners on a boat. I'd like to put to you what you said uh, in your statement. And this is E3 slash 5257 at English 0025-1016 at Khmer 0024-3102. O two to O three and French French zero zero three four two six six seven. This is what you said to the investigator. I saw them arrest more prisoners and take them off boats. Question Did you see arrests often? Sometimes I saw them, sometimes I did not see them. How many times did you see them being taken off boats? And you said once. How did you know they were prisoners? And you said they talked about it in the dining hall. Question, did those people have their arms tied? Answer, yes, they were tied. Question, how were they tied? Answer, their arms were tied behind them. 
On les attachait les bras Question, en arrière. Were there men, women, or children? Y avait-il des An hommes, answer, des femmes ou des enfants? There were men, réponse, women, and children. Des femmes et des enfants. And then question, were there any question, small children? Y avait-il des answer, jeunes enfants? Yes, there were small children. Réponse, oui. All the people saw this because there were hundreds of them at mealtime. Does that refresh your memory now that you did in fact see people being arrested off, a off the boat? Something about the light up. President. President, please wait, uh, Mr. Witness. You may not proceed, Council Copper. Um, I would appreciate it, Mr. President, if the prosecution would also read the next sentence of that statement. I'd be happy to do it for him. Uh, when you saw those prisoners, were there any charm? Answer, I don't know. Um, thank you, Council. Um, this this um, event wasn't put forward to discuss whether or not the chams were arrested. It was in relation to people being taken to Wat Otrakon uh, Security Center. So, witness, do you now remember that you saw people taken off a boat? Or, or do you not know? Answer. I do not know if uh, they were taken off board. Mr. Witness, I now would like to ask you some questions about uh, your role as militia during the democratic Kampuchea period. Um, did, you, did you work as uh, a militia in the Long Sword Group during that period? Answer. I was not a militia man. Back then, I was assigned to plot the field at Sankai Opdau. And at that time, the militia man went to call me to be a soldier. So I follow the militia man and they pointed the gun at me. My wife and my child were crying because they thought I would die. And I was allowed to spend an, a night when I arrived, and I was asked the day after how many siblings I had. I told them that I had five siblings, and uh, they asked me about uh, my relative cousins and uncles and aunts. I told them that I had about 20 relatives, aunt and uncle and cousins. After hearing this, they closed the book, and uh, I uh, was assigned to harvest rice. Thank you. Um, were you part of the sub-district militia, or were you part of a group called the Long Sword Militia? Were you in either one of those militia groups? No. I was in neither. Actually, neither, neither. I was tasked to have as uh, the rise. Thank you. Okay. Do you know, have you ever heard of a group of militia 
back in the democratic campuchia operating in your commune called the long sword group travaillait dans votre commune qui s'appelait le groupe long zé un groupe de miliciens Yes, I heard the people oui. talking about it. Entendu However, I did not know about uh, the activities that the group uh, involved in. Pas leurs And you're sure Question. about that? Et vous en êtes bien you ça. were never in the Long Sword group? Le groupe pour long Is that right? Vous le confirmez? Yes, that réponse. is the truth. Oui, c'est la vérité. And is it also the truth that you have no knowledge of what the Long Sword Militia Group aussi vrai did? Que vous n'avez aucune idée de ce que faisait le groupe au Long Zépi. Please uh, repeat your question. Le témoin, veuillez répéter la question. Is your evidence that you didn't know Votre déposition what the long sword group vous ne saviez pas did ce que faisait le groupe long as militia en tant que in your area in Democratic Campuchia? L'endroit où vous étiez sous la période du Campuchia démocratique. Bah. Réponse That is correct. I did not know what uh, they did uh, during the regime. Uh, you, were, you were also um, asked about this topic by the investigator uh, from the ECC when you spoke to him a few years ago, and some answers on this topic are recorded in your statement. And I'd like to read those answers back to you and ask you to comment about it. Your Honours, it's E3 slash 5257 at English 0025-1018, Khmer 0024-3104-06, And French 00342669. And this is the question that was asked to you, Mr. Witness. Do you remember the Long Sword Militia? Answer: Yes. There was one. Question: Were you in the Long Sword team? Answer: Yes, I was in that team. But they divided the long sword team into many teams which were responsible for various work. Who arrested the people? The answer, the security unit. Were those security personnel in the militia? Answer, they called that group security soldiers. Question. Did the Long Sword Group le groupe have the job de of arresting people? Le rôle les gens? Answer. Réponse. At that time, the Long Sword Group le groupe was divided into teams. En some teams plowed the field, and some teams did secret work. Du Mr. Witness, Monsieur is that the truth? What I just read out to you, that you did know about the Long Sword Militia, and you were in the Long Sword Militia. Macron, I've known. 
Now you're saying that you were in the Long Sword Militia Group. Is that correct? correct? That's exact. Yes, that is correct. Oui, exact. However, I did not involved in any uh, activity of the group that was tasked to guard uh, the rice band. No. Although uh, the other uh, sub teams uh, were based not far from where I uh, guarded the rice band, and I was not uh, given any long sword to carry. And witness just a, a, a few more questions because uh, time is short. Um, you also said in that statement um, at uh, E3 5257 English 00251081-19, Khmer 0024-3105, and French 0034-2670-19. In answer to this question, who was your direct superior in the militia? And you said Duan. Is that correct? Was Duan your direct superior in the Long Sword Militia? Superior dans la milice au Long Zip. I only heard of uh, Dune, but I did not know de what he looked like. Mais je ne sais pas. Je ne saurais le reconnaître. Je ne savais pas à quoi il ressemble. Question. But was he your superior? Était-il votre supérieur? On Paul. Réponse. No, no, it's not. It was a, a different one, and actually, I was by myself en fait, tout seul. Uh, at the rice barn. Uh, à cet entrepôt, cette grange. That doing lose. As for that doing, I Quant only heard of de, his name, and he uh, was at a different location. Et, et um, I just have two last questions. questions um, I want to put these two statements to you, and I'd like you to respond. A witness, uh, Seng Srun, has testified uh, in this court and in a, has given a statement, E3-5252, English 0023 Khmer 0023-5021 and French 0026-9891. Seng Srun was asked this question, could you tell me who at the time was the chief of the Long Sword? He answered, the chief named Che and his deputy was Tai Kim Hun. And Tai Kim Hun, he states, was the chief of the committee at the Otrakon Pagoda. What type of persons were Che and Kim Hun? From 1975 to 1979, they were the leaders of the Long Sword militias. What's your comment in relation to that statement? I did not uh, meet with Srun, and Srun was a uh, soldier, Srun était un soldat. and since then I did not have any contact with him. Et depuis là, je eu aucun contact avec lui. What 
Whatever he said is not uh, correct. Dit, I did not do that. Je n'ai pas fait ça. I was not even a member of the uh, militia. Je n'étais même pas militaire. But uh, on the contrary, Srun was a soldier. Srun, lui, était soldat. And of course, I am not. He is a superior. Je ne suis pas son supérieur, bien évidemment. And, and one Question. last um, statement I'd like to Dernière put. Uh, this again has been said by Seng Srun in one of his statements, and that's at E3 5302. English 0021-0488, Khmer 0063-5176, and French 0062-3191-92. And Seng Srun answers this uh, question in relation to the gathering up of Cham people. President, uh, please uh, hold on, Veuillez Mr. Attendre, uh, uh, Prosecutor. And Councillor Kong Sam On, you had the floor. Kong Sam On. La Défense. I do not get the EN number of that document in the Khmer language. President, uh, Deputy Co Prosecutor, please uh, provide the uh, document and the EN of the Khmer document. Sorry, um, 0063-5176. And Seng Shrun is asking a question, answering a question in relation to the gathering up of Cham people. The person who told me to gather the Cham was Hun, who was my unit chief. He was a local and still lives in this area in Sambo near Ska. Hun ordered me to gather the Cham and take them to the Wat. I didn't know what their plan was. But I was told that Cham people were a different race and had to be smashed. And that if we kept them, they would re rebel against us sometime. The person who told me this was the commune security chief, whose name was Tai Kim Hon. He is still alive and lives in my village. Le président. President, the deputy co-prosecutor, please uh, hold on, and the defense counsel for Kirsten Pond, you have the floor. Oui, j'interviens uh, pour yes. une objection par rapport à like la manière dont uh, le document est présenté. Je ne dis qu'on vient pas que c'est ce qui est inscrit sur le document, mais il me semble qu'à l'audience, uh, uh, le témoin Sangstrun est revenu sur sa déclaration. Donc, quand un témoin à euh, témoigner à la barre hein, et qu'il y a des déclarations plus récentes ou qui précisent And, um, euh, ce qui a été dit. Je pense que c'est en, en toute équité vis-à-vis -vis du témoin qui vient, euh, à qui l'on oppose euh, euh, les déclarations d'une autre personne, c'est de euh, lui rappeler les, les deux, au moins les deux déclarations. Donc, je ne sais pas si Monsieur le coprocureur entend euh, évoquer um, cette question par la suite, mais il y a une différence entre ce qui a été dit euh, dans la déclaration du témoin Sengstrun et ce qu'il a dit à l'audience is different. What he said in his statement is different from what he said during his testimony. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I mean, uh, what was put was one particular statement. I will tell the witness that at a later time, in another statement, he said that um, he, you did not tell him the reason uh, why Cham were being arrested. So he's taken that statement away Donc at a later a point in time. But what I would like to, and that's what he testified to, that he, he can't remember saying that. But my question ça. is, in relation to that statement, pose, that first statement that he gave about you donc, telling him uh, that the Cham people were a different race and needed to be smashed, did you say that or not ou non. to Seng Srun? No, I uh, did not say it. No, je ne l'ai pas dit. Thank you. And uh, my last uh, question. Dernière question. Mr. Witness, isn't it true that the Long Sword Militia and PM Chikang commune, commune de PM Chikang was responsible 
for the arrest of Cham and other people, uh, other new people or other people that were detained exemple, at Wat uh, Ol Trakon Pagoda, wasn't it the long sword militia that had the responsibility and in fact made those arrests in your commune in Democratic Campuchia? Dans votre commune, sous la période du Cambodge démocratique. Réponse. I have already uh, testified that I did not live in the village for the reason I was not aware of that donc, event. I did not know about the arrest of uh, the Cham people or, or the new people. I spent my time in the plantation, growing vegetables or uh, other plants. And I stayed there and I slept there and I did not uh, enter the village. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. President, I took a, an extra five or six minutes, or ten minutes, in fact, over um, what was agreed to with the civil party. So I would ask, perhaps, that if um, the civil parties could have an extra five minutes or ten minutes um, to present their submissions, their questions. Thank you. President, the lead co lawyer, Sir Jim Mitrosi, President, Maître Picon, Mary Sakan is the assigned counsel to put questions to this witness. Thank you. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, Messieurs les procureurs, les avocats de la défense, les parties civiles et le public. Defense Bonjour, Council, Monsieur le témoin. Je suis Martine Jacquin, avocat des parties civiles, Martin et je vous remercie Jacquin, de répondre aux questions que je vais vous poser. Première question. Vous avez indiqué, et vous nous avez confirmé tout à l'heure, que vous habitiez très près de la pagode, et lorsque vous aviez indiqué ça dans votre interrogatoire il y a quelques années, vous aviez expliqué que vous pouviez habiter dans le bas de la maison dans ce secteur-là, qui n'était pas un secteur public, car vous faisiez partie de la sécurité. President uh, witness, please hold on. And counsel for Kirsten, you had the floor. Ce n'est pas une objection, Monsieur le Président, c'est simplement demander les références objection, uh, sur l'interrogatoire du témoin. Les références ce sont les références du document E3 52 57 ERNKH 00 24 01 02 ERN en anglais 00 24 10 15, 00 25 10 16, en français 00 34 26 65. Monsieur le Président, Judge Lavergne, la parole est au juge Lavergne. Oui, j'ai bien noté ces références. Yes, je ne I suis pas sûr, Maître Jacquin. J'aimerais qu'il soit précisé de quel endroit il s'agit. Uh, j'ai l'impression que uh, to, quand le témoin a été entendu lors de cette audition E3 par 52-57, il parlait de Pim Chikan et pas de l'endroit où il était près de la pagode. And not where he was, close to the pagoda. Je souhaiterais justement, Monsieur le Président, que le témoin clarifie cette situation. Uh, provide the correct e and uh, number in the Khmer uh, language. It is not uh, clear and incorrect. And please make sure that you are well prepared uh, when 
you yeah, will proceed with your questioning. Otherwise, the additional time that you requested is not uh, worthwhile. Le temps supplémentaire qui vous est accordé ne sera pas utilisé à bon escient. Je remercie Monsieur le Président. Le témoin a tout à l'heure confirmé qu'il habitait à un moment donné à côté de la pagode. Il a effectivement, dans la déclaration précédente, quand j'ai redonné le RN tout à l'heure, indiqué qu'il avait eu cette autorisation, qu'il avait eu une autorisation de vivre dans ce secteur en raison qui était effectivement le secteur de, euh, j ai, j ai, une seconde, j'avais le mot, de, was, qui indeed, était effectivement ce secteur de Shikang, parce qu'il faisait partie du service de sécurité. J'aimerais qu'il soit précis sur ces deux service. situations. I would like him to clarify both situations. The fact that I was asked to leave my home on m'a demandé de quitter because that have us used for the security maison, force and la maison servait civilians pour les forces de sécurité from, et les civils uh, entering the area the, the area was guarded by soldiers anyone who breached the band would be shot dead euh, qui était gardé par des soldats et d'ailleurs toute personne euh, qui euh, y aller, ce aurait pu être tué par balle. Monsieur le Président, Council for Merci. Civil Parties, uh, you have been reminded to Je speak at a 20 meters distance from the microphone. Uh, and the, the National Litical Lawyer, the Cambodian one, Mr. Pei Ong, please Maître remind Pekong, your council. When he speaks too close to the microphone, the echo is too strong for the interpreter to provide a proper interpretation. Monsieur le témoin, vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que votre famille était composée d'une vingtaine de personnes et que vous aviez cinq frères et sœurs. Aujourd'hui, combien de ces personnes sont encore vivantes Monsieur le témoin, Ma famille euh, par le sang. Je parle de la famille pour laquelle vous aviez fait l'objet de, de la biographie et sur laquelle vous nous avez tout à l'heure donné in ces informations complémentaires. And you gave further information regarding your family members. Those are the persons I'm referring to. Uh, there are several members of my uh, relatives, uh, close and distant relatives, who are uh, de ma famille, living uh, today qui and who survived the regime. Lorsqu'il y a eu le régime du Kampuchea démocratique, vous aviez 25 ans, you vous cultiviez dans la rizière. During the vous faisiez donc partie du regime. peuple ancien et votre you situation n'était pas particulièrement difficile par rapport à ce régime politique. Est-ce exact? Votre situation n'était pas très difficile, given the political regime in place at the time. Is that correct? No, that is uh, incorrect. Non, c'est faux. My life was miserable uh, living under the regime. Le the only food we ate was gruel uh, compounded by hard manual labor. Vous avez indiqué que lorsque on était venu vous chercher, votre femme et votre enfant. Pleurait. Your wife 
and child et well, pourquoi était-il aussi inquiet qu'on vienne, qu vienne vous appeler pour faire partie d'un so groupe pour le village and how many of you were called to be members of a group representing the village I uh, did not know whether I was called uh, to be part si of the uh, soldier or the team because everybody knew that if people were called to go to Autokun or Pogoda, it means their fate uh, would be sealed there. Vous avez déclaré document you stated in document dans le même E3 53 57 Comment se faisait-il que vous pourriez voir How accompagner les prisonniers étant donné que vous viviez à Prim Chikang Je vivais à Prim Chikang, mais je devais manger à cet endroit, la raison pour laquelle je pouvais voir cet événement. Connaissiez-vous les prisonniers en question J'en connaissais un parmi lesquels se trouvait mon cousin. Pouvez-vous dire le nom de ces prisonniers Can you give us the names Oui. Of those prisoners? Ils sont yes. Tol, mon frère They were adoptif. My adopted Lim Sren, brother. Lim mon Sren, cousin. My cousin. Ces deux étaient arrêtés These avec leurs familles, dont leurs femmes et leurs enfants. Arrested with their families and children. Un autre cousin Another à moi s'appelait Yuor. J'avais vu qu'on arrêtait encore plus de prisonniers qui avaient débarqué des bateaux. Ma question ne concerne pas les prisonniers des bateaux, mais ces prisonniers que vous connaissiez, dont vous avez pu donner le nom, que leur est-il arrivé Est-ce que vous les avez revus depuis le jour de cette arrestation et en particulier votre cousin I did not know what happened to them since we were at a different location. And while I was having meal, I saw them being walked. So I stopped eating my meal and I left the dining hall. Pouvez-vous préciser où on les emmenait? Where they were being taken to? What now? Okay. They were taken to the pagoda. They were pagoda. Depuis qu'ils ont été arrêtés et la fin du and régime uh, du Kampuchea since, démocratique, uh, the moment les avez-vous revus? Were arrested and, and did you see them between the time they were arrested and the end of the DK regime? No. Vous avez donc vu entrer dans cette pagode so you saw un certain nombre de gens, des people, hommes, des femmes, des women, enfants. Est-ce qu'après, quand vous étiez à la cantine, so when you jours, were, uh, in the vous avez parfois entendu crier ou jouer les enfants hear the children shout or play? No, I did not. No. That means we. The president, the assigned council for civil parties. Maître. How much more time do you anticipate that you need to put questions to this witness? 
Monsieur le Président, j'aurais souhaité que vous m'accordiez 10 minutes complémentaires pour répondre minutes, au temps d'interrogation qui était prévu. Which was, in fact, what was President, uh, yes, uh, the chamber will grant you the 10 additional minutes. However, you uh, may resume in the afternoon since it is now uh, our lunch break. The chamber will take a lunch break now and resume at 1.30. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite him as well as the duty council back into the court room at 1.30. Security personnel, you are expected to take uh, Kilsen Pond to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30.